Senator Beam. Honorable Senators, I too rise today in joining Senator Cordy to recognize and support Mental Health Week. As many of you know, the terms mental health and mental illness are often mistakenly used interchangeably. It is important to make a distinction between the two. La santé mentale est un état de Mental health is a state of well-being which we must all strive to care for daily, just like our physical health. On the other hand, comes in many forms, ranging from anxiety, eating, bipolar, and obsessive compulsive disorders to depression, phobias, autism, PTSD, and schizophrenia, among others. It is important to note that mental illness does not discriminate. It can affect anyone at any age of all socioeconomic backgrounds and walks of life and can have significant impacts on one's well-being. As I look across this chamber, I'm sure that all of us, my dear colleagues, have been impacted in one way or another by mental health issues in our lives. C'est pourquoi je crois qu'il soit vital de lutter contre la stigmatisation. For that reason, I believe that to end the stigma, it is crucial to speak openly about mental health, not only during Mental Health Week, but all year round. Canada was created in response to the Senate report, Out of the Shadows at Last, which developed a framework for action in advancing the mental health strategy for Canada. Our colleague who just spoke, Senator Cordy, was among the senators on the Social Affairs Committee at that time. Senators Dick and Mercer also participated in this meaningful study. I wish to also recognize the continuing advocacy of Senators Munson, Bernard and Husakos, and my seatmate, Senator Kucher, an expert in the field, as we have just heard. Colleagues, great progress has been made in addressing mental health issues and illness. It is not enough, though. Much more needs to be done. To this end, we have had some modest but important developments recently in the Senate. This august institution is not immune from mental health concerns. A Senate Mental Health Advisory Committee has recently been struck, comprised of administration employees and senator staff, with the active participation of Senators Kucher, Rob Black, and myself. You may have encountered some of the committee members outside the cafeteria yesterday and today. The committee aims to reduce stigma on mental health and suggest ways forward for all of us. Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank you for your ongoing interest in the committee's activities and for being a champion for mental health. The committee is in its infancy, so it will certainly require and deserve enthusiastic support from all of us. Colleagues, mental health, our psychological well-being must be a concern for all Canadians. It is the duty of each and every Canadian to change the conversation about mental illness and mental health in order to put an end to the stigma. It is our duty as parliamentarians to ensure that we lead the way. Thank you. Merci.